Okay, the team of fans. Now, this video is a culmination of my thoughts on the first 10 episodes of season three. Yes, I know we got the leaked episode, which was episode 12, I believe. And that will not have an impact on how I saw the first 10 episodes. Just to let you know, I might mention it. Okay, let me just mention it from the beginning. Okay. The question that the title of this video poses is, did season three live up to the hype? In my opinion, absolutely not. I did not like it that much. However, season two, I felt the same way. When we wrapped up the mid-season finale, I'm like, man, season two ain't really hitting like season one. It didn't have the rewatchability factor, but there were a lot of key elements I did enjoy about season two, eh? Like the introduction of Jeremiah, oh, well, Gladys, and the dynamic that she and Jeremiah have with Zach, uh, the introduction of Fatima's parents, and then a few other things too. But then when season 2B came out, everything came together, and it made me appreciate those first 10 episodes more. Now, the leaked episode, that one episode felt a whole, it just felt like a whole different level of quality than the first six episodes. Wait. Yeah, because I think it dropped this. Yeah, it was mistakenly dropped in place of episode six. So the third week of October is when the episode came out. And I'm like, man, this one episode is way better than the first six episodes of the season. And it definitely was better than the last four. Now, what I'm saying is that it does seem like the back half of the season has a lot of potential to knock the first half out of the water. However, I think what makes season two and three different is that season three did not have a good setup to the overarching drama and tension involving Jeremiah and Fatima and whatnot, because at the end of the day, it's matching the same level of frustration to deal with this as a viewer, because this all could have been resolved a number of different ways. Call the cops on Jeremiah, tell Zach about this earlier to avoid the uh, crash out or blackout he had in episode nine slash 10. Well, technically episode eight too, you know, from tearing up Belinda's place to, you know, fighting his friends to finding his brother and beating on him and attacking his friends again. And then eventually he gets arrested. I think season three, a or season three in general, it had a lot of things working against it. However, you could also argue there were a lot of things working for the team of season three. However, it ended up backfiring in the worst way possible. So, for example, the show was on hiatus for over a year. So fans were upset because, you know, their show was gone. And a lot of people were like, yo, why is everybody getting on Tyler Perry Stewart? Well, BET for taking so long with Zatima season three. It's like every show out there, especially streaming service shows, we usually only get like one season a year. But the thing that people who say the say that fail to realize is that Tyler Perry Studios was operating in a way unlike any other studio, putting out content at a rate unlike no other production company out there. So fans not, you know, being in their feelings about having to wait so long makes sense because we're accustomed to the hiatus as being rather short, you know, either getting two or at most one and a half seasons of any given show per year sometimes two seasons like i said give it, depending on what the pla uh depending on what the series is but when it comes to zatima season three it unfortunately had to deal with the situation of the uh writer's strike and then the actor's strike it was just a whole bunch of stuff and up until the point of the strikes i was able to do a pretty good job with um coming up with the um scheduling my predictions of when the show would come back but those strikes impacted things in such a negative way not just for real life implications of those involved with the strike but in terms of the distribution of these shows hence why like the oval is seemingly going to be gone for almost a year before it comes back for season six which you know i don't really give a crap about but um when it comes to zatima the fan anticipation was there now another thing was sister season seven if i remember correctly we got sister season six b and season seven in its entirety so we had a season and a half worth of sisters before we even got more zatima episodes last month 
Meaning that, yeah, Zatima was gone so long that Sisters almost put out two full seasons. And season seven was just so poorly received. Not to mention, it's it's off-putting depiction of Zack and Fatima that fans turned off Sisters and saying, I just can't wait for Zatima. But then other people were like, you know, I'm just done completely. Not only has this new batch of writers ruined the way I look at Zack and Fatima, but the show Zatima's been gone so long, the hype is just gone now. And I feel like all those elements worked against Zatima as well. Like on the one hand, people were more excited for Zatima than Sisters, but um, the other hand, it did turn off some fans. So those are a couple of pretty big reasons right there. Now, from a cast perspective, a lot of them told me, y'all ain't ready for season three. It's going to be great. But the thing is, when casts say those things, number one, they know the entire picture, a.k.a. they they. It, what did DeBow say during my interview with him last year? It's like uh, he was talking. We had some people join the Twitter space, like fans talking about the show. And they were like, hey, man. Uh, I didn't like when Zach did this. It's like, no, actually, you're m- remembering it wrong. No, what are you talking about? Like, hey, hey, look, you watched it, but I was there. I had the script. I was there when we filmed it. So I'm telling you, Zach didn't say what you said he did, or you completely overlooked what he did in that scene. And I feel the same way here where it's like they said, like, you know, season three is going to deliver this, that, and the third. I think that comes from a place of they know something we don't, which is obvious because they were there for the filming of it. But um, in terms of the, and some people are like, yo, sisters ain't hitting the mark, but trust and believe season three is going to be back on track. But sadly for me, for me, for me personally, season three has not delivered. It has not. It is, it is right now my least favorite season of Zatima. Now, if the show wasn't gone for as long as it was, would that have helped? I honestly could not tell you because me, I have, I at least try to have an unbiased opinion whenever I do my reviews. When I like something, you're going to know it. When I love something, you're going to know it. When I don't like something, you're going to know it. When I absolutely hate or loathe something or someone, whether it be a character, an episode. Oh, trust me, you're you're going to know it. So I honestly feel like thus far, Zatima season three has not lived up to the hype. Preston's inclusion in the show is easily the one thing I would say. Hey, you know what, folks, even though I'm not really rocking with this season, Preston being back is worth worth the price of admission. It's worth that BET plus uh, subscription in order to watch him, you know, in the show because him being properly utilized is such a breath of fresh air. It's such a breath of fresh air. And I definitely feel like um his friendship with Zach is exactly what's needed. Because he really doesn't have anybody who can hold him down like that. Because, you know, his so-called friends betrayed him by keeping the Jeremiah attack on his wife a secret. So he doesn't, you know, look at them the same now. But I really do feel like when it comes to season three, uh, there were a lot of things working against it. But, hey, it doesn't matter how long the show was gone. It doesn't matter the strikes that happened. It doesn't matter uh, Sister Season 7 butchering their character season three was filmed the way it was filmed with Tyler Perry at the helm and at the pen. And I think that the show has now fallen into the same traps of like sisters. And as a result, it's not really coming across in the best light. Like I honestly think it was an awful idea to have the setup be so flimsy. And I still say Connie is the cause of all this crap and I will never like her character regardless of what she does to quote unquote, make amends or try to be friends with Fatima. I'm still looking at her like, this is your fault Jeremiah did what he did. I mean, because you're the one that uh, gave up your responsibility that Gladys put on your, um, you know, hand or you to carry about the life insurance. You were just, you couldn't wait to get rid of that monkey off your back because you knew if Jeremiah, when Jeremiah found out about the money, he was going to come sniffing at your door. And due to his tendencies when he's high, you wanted to self-preserve yourself and your kids. And as a result, we saw what happened to Fatima. So I still blame her for this. And Nate was right. Telling Zach earlier would have been the right move. 
Angela, I rocked with her, um, you know, most of this season because she was right on the money with her thoughts on the situation. But in terms of Fatima, she is just as hypocritical as ever. And Zach is being depicted as a uh, irrational hothead, which he definitely is at times. But we're still in the situation where nobody's respecting his feelings on things where they just seemingly want him to let go of everything Bryce did to him wrong. And to be fair, everybody's talking about how, Oh, we did this to protect you from yourself. And Jeremiah has a problem yet. Nobody wants to talk about the consequences that Jeremiah should face. I mean, if nothing else, everybody's like, look, your woman's okay. Just leave Jeremiah alone. This Negro could come back again and do something even worse. That's the thing that's making me mad about this whole thing. But um, unfortunately, in my opinion, I don't think Zatima's li living up to the hype. It it's not. But hopefully, the back half makes up for this. But even if the back half, even if the back half of the season is straight ten out of tens for me, it's not going to make up for the piss poor setup. Because when you and I was talking with somebody uh, last night about this after they had watched season three, episode nine, because for whatever reason, episode nine had trouble streaming for a lot of people. And he's like, man, even though I love Dr. Reed coming back, and then even last week with Tyrone telling Zach what's what, when you really think about it, Jeremy, these first 10 episodes were kind of a waste of time because everybody was trying to hide the fact that Jeremiah attacked Fatima. Everyone was hiding that secret from Zach. And then, of course, they tried to hide Jeremiah from Zach. And then it got to the point where everybody was trying to talk Zach out of, you know, going after his brother for revenge. And even though we had some great scenes to come out of that with Zach and Tyrone at the barbershop, uh, Tony telling Zach he had so much to lose if he went out to Jeremiah out on the street. And then uh, episode nine, when Dr. Reed came back, all of that was just a waste of time because Zach did what he was going to do anyway. I mean, the moment he got back home, after Angela left and he was talking with Fatima, he pretty much said he's not letting it go, which meant that, okay, so when he ends up in jail, I honestly do not care because he, everyone in the freaking show told him not to do it and what would happen if he did it. And then he does it and then has to deal with the consequences. And it's like, well, now what? Why am I supposed, if Zach doesn't care about suffering the consequences, why should I care when he actually does go through the consequences of it? Honestly, I don't think his brother's dead. But even still, it's like the first half was a waste of time when you look at it from that perspective. It really was. So like I said, I hope the back half makes up for this. But right now, this season, it's not doing it for me. It's really not. And thankfully, we're going on hiatus. But um, man, it's sad to say because this was the saving grace for a lot of people. For Tyler Perry show. I'm done with every show except for Zatima, but now it's like, eh. And I mean, then you had uh, last week, Beauty and Black just swooped in and got the fans talking like, you know, this was Zatima levels. I wouldn't say Zatima levels of hype, but I haven't seen fans hyped up for a show like this since Zatima uh, in terms of like Tyler Perry, you know, production. So yeah, um, that's all I got. I mean, there are a lot of questions like, Will we find out if Fatima's parents find out about Zach's arrest and how they're going to feel about their daughter being engaged to a man like this? And not only that, I doubt that they know Fatima's pregnant. There are just so many things that can come from this. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, folks. Um, am, I, am I being too harsh? I mean, you could say I am, but guess what? I'm being honest. So like and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video.